Here on Debaco University, I'm going to show you the three main controller options when enriching your area with carbon dioxide and provide you with the advantages and disadvantages of each. Let's go over carbon, di carbon dioxide controller options for cannabis production. So first off, we have the time to release carbon dioxide. And we see an example of one right here. The advantage is, is that this is very easy to set up. You'll know exactly when you will need to refill, replace the bottle, because it's gonna come on for a set duration of time and off for a set duration of time. We notice about this one, it also has a photo cell, so this will ensure that this cycle will only repeat when the light's on or when the sunlight is out, which is when plants will utilize carbon dioxide. However, the disadvantages with the setup is it's not reactive to the actual environment. It's going to inject CO2 for the X amount of time regardless of whether it needs it or whether it doesn't. This could cause elevated levels and waste carbon dioxide. And while the timer itself might be uh, relatively inexpensive, you typically will be spending more in wasted carbon dioxide over a growth cycle. Now, controller without fuzzy logic. So the advantages is that it's less expensive than one that would have fuzzy logic. Uh, it can work with bottle-based or heat-based carbon dioxide sources. So that's the advantage of using a controller of this type. The disadvantage is that it can waste carbon dioxide, particularly if you're using the bottle system. And grow space may have a greater variability in carbon dioxide levels. Keep in mind that if you are using a heat-based source, you cannot use fuzzy logic. Fuzzy Logic, there's other videos on that, where you're able to kind of, the controller helps regulate and determine uh, what dosing duration and frequency it needs to do. But if you're using heat-based sources, you can get away with a controller that does not have the Fuzzy Logic option. See here also a light sensor, but if you are using a compressed bottle system, you probably want to look at our third type here, which is a controller with Fuzzy Logic. Simply because uh, the advantages is that this is a computer-based adjustment to match your particular growing space. Uh, it's a great way for the controller to kind of learn your growth space and help dial in the carbon dioxide dosing. The disadvantage is it does have the most upfront costs. Uh, it cannot be used with a burner or heater style carbon dioxide generations. It can only be used with bottle-based systems. However, this computer-based adjustments that go on allow you to minimize the amount of wasted carbon dioxide you'd be using with a bottle system and make your overall carbon dioxide enrichment environment as efficient as it can be, especially when using compressed bottles.